makes me want to be a better person. Yes, you can. What's wrong? It tastes yucky. It's not that bad. You're not supposed to talk with your mouth full. <laughs> Be a man. Justin, Justine. Nice. Did I get that right? You did. Okay. You did. And in order. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for uh, joining me today talking about God's Country Song. You know, this is my first time in Tennessee and Nashville. I'm born and raised in Las Vegas. I am not used to the green around here. This is my first time too, and I. Exactly... You're Cali, right? Yes. Yeah, we're neighbors. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but isn't this just an incredible place? The whole ride here is just like looking out my car and it's like, wow. It's, it's like they cut freeways out of the forest. Yeah. It's like, I mean, I'm used to being in Vegas. You see the ground of the sky all the time, but here the trees block out your. And you're just like, what in the world? This place is really God's country. It really, really is. Really? It's a magical place. You know, and a great place to talk about this incredible film. Yeah. And uh, I just loved it. I really did. You know, I love the message. I love the music. And uh, you guys were fantastic in it. Thank you. And uh, your character, uh, Noah Bryan, what kind of man is he? Well, I think that's the, the whole story, isn't it? Like, who, who is he going to be? And, um, you know, he was raised in, in Arkansas in, on a farm, and he was raised with good morals and values, but he goes off to pursue his dream of being a country artist, and I think he sort of loses his way. I mean, you, you, his manager's constantly, like, after him, like, you're, you know, you're, you're being so prideful, like, like he's kind of, which is, it's easy to do, you know? It's easy to buy into your own self and celebrity when you're out doing these tours and people are liking your music like it's it's easy to buy into that and I think he gets humbled um, throughout this movie and he finds out he has a son JJ and he's he, to your point like who 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 is he going to be is he going to you know step up and be the man and, and raise JJ or or is he going to continue to sort of be selfish and and pursue his own dreams and so you know I don't want to give too much away. No, but. <laughs> and you're kind of like, your character's a catalyst, right? You're the one who changes his life by bringing his son to him. She's a fierce protector, but at the same time, which I think is a really awesome balance to see, she gives him, like, the chance, the second chance that, you know, he's dealing with with his own, like, personal life, but also, like, being a fierce protector of such a cute kid and, like, being like, okay, I'm going to trust you, and here you go, like, you know? And she's constantly there to kind of guide him or ask the question so that he can like self-correct and make sure he's staying on the track. And it's not her first rodeo. She sees right through him sometimes. <laughs> she right? does. I love yeah. how he's just like, she's like, excuse me, you know, mm -hmm. I love she, how you call him on it. Yeah. 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 I always love playing anyone who kind of is comfortable to lovingly call people out. Well, that's the theme of this movie is truth. Yeah. That's what I like about it. Also, what's his relationship with his father? Well, it's, it's, it's really complicated. He's, he has some you know, family trauma, and he does leave leave the farm sort of against his father's wishes to go out and pursue his dreams. So it's very it's very complicated. You know, his, he sort of has a, this relationship with his mother. That it's I, I think between you know Mariel and and you know it, it just it was a very sweet. She's such a great actress and a great human being. I, I really loved our scenes together and. And John was such a great actor too, but you know he he was intense, dude. Well, yeah, yeah. the scenes with him, he's very, he's I very intense out, yeah. and a bit like you know he's it, it's a little scary at times, you know. Uh, Did you guys just go off on that scene because it didn't look like it was too much scripted. It looked like he kept going. At it sort of, uh, yeah, we sort of it just kept escalating and escalating, and uh, he's such a big guy. You know, it was it really it helped the scene. I feel like it helped us create this energy. But it's a complicated relationship, you know, and I, which I feel like is very real uh, and and true. And just watching them work it out and sort of because they do they you, they do have like a history, and so it's it's kind of like going back to that and finding their common ground and working from there and sort of like both of them like sort of putting their swords away and, and being like let's let's go meet like let's go fish and and let's just talk and sort of get back to where we came from. So it's it's a complicated and beautiful relationship that I think they have. And I might classify this as a musical man. Fifteen original songs. And they're all so good. They're fantastic. I was humming a bunch last night. <laughs> yeah. And uh, was he always singing on the set? He was always playing the guitar. Yeah. Oh, you were you were singing with like a low little yeah. muffle. Yeah. Which I feel is like what the artists do. They're <laughs> like figuring it out, but he's always playing. 
I mean, you must have just, when this script came across your desk, I mean, as I was talking to, to Johnny, you know, the director, he said they needed to find that Noah Bryan, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, if it wasn't for the right actor, for the right talent, that movie wouldn't work. You know, so you hit it out of the park, man. Oh, I mean, so thank you. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it, it's such a it's such a great thing to be able to, to play, and, and in this case, you know, record all the songs and, and be able to just it really helps develop the character, and um, that's where sort of we started. I recorded several of the songs first, and sort of birthed, you know, um, who Noah was going to be, like who was his, his musical influence. Sets the character. Doesn't yeah, it, it's a really you know it's. For me, being a musician, it's like it seems so natural. Um, so yeah, I mean, I was thrilled to get the script. Now I've heard you've never worked with animals or children, and you worked with JJ Miller, <laughs> <laughs> and he just stole every scene, didn't he? Oh my gosh, yeah, my first sure. scene with him was when he hugged me, and I like first I was like, oh, was so <laughs> sweet, and he's such a character, and I think it's safe to say he like provided energy on set all day. Yeah, he was a he's, he's, he's spark he's of light. Really great. Yeah, we're talking about a wonderful Nashvilleist here. You know, my first time here. Mm -hmm. But they shot this movie in Arkansas. Mm -hmm. It was just gorgeous. I mean, this movie looks like you know, hundred million dollar movie. Yeah, he, yeah, it's it's beautiful. And I didn't, I'd never been up into that part of Arkansas, and it was absolutely beautiful. It was stunning. Yeah, and being from the desert, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just watching the movie, going, "There's places like this that exist." You yeah, know? You and know? all the animals. It was yeah, yeah, it was a really beautiful. Person. And coming to Pure Flix, you know, I love the message of this movie. You know, I think it's uplifting. Um, I think that people can identify with it. Not only just the music and the story behind all that, but uh, it's just, I think we need movies like this with more of a positive message, don't we? Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree. We all need a second chance. And, you know, Noah gets his opportunity to get one. So it, it's a beautiful message. Finally, the bar fight. Any, any <laughs> loose punches in there? Uh, I told Johnny I was upset because I wanted my country full room ballroom brawl. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys look like you were going at it at times. We we definitely went we definitely went a little too hard. I think at times, <laughs> you know. But I, I think I, I think I accidentally did graze him one time. He you know he was he was he was great to work with. The stunt coordinator was great, and you know, yeah, you get done with one of your hearts like racing, and but it, I mean. It, feels like you really just got done like either with like a 10 mile run or I don't know it was, it was wild I definitely got scraped up a little bit and stuff but it, I think it was worth it <laughs> well guys congratulations thank, thank you, you for your time today wonderful film and uh, come visit us in Las Vegas we'd love to have you yeah for sure thank, thank you, you.